find that your lower back hurts the next day after you deadlift, I've got a drill that's gonna help you out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up against the wall. Both my heels are touching. I'm gonna take one step out, then move my opposite foot to match. So I'm one foot away from the wall. I'm gonna have a soft bend of my knees, pull my shoulders back in a good position. I'm no longer gonna bend my knees and now I'm only gonna start pushing my hips back towards the wall behind me. My chest dropping is a byproduct. It's not the thing that I'm thinking about. Then I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and hamstrings to stand tall. The thing that we're trying to avoid doing is squatting down to reach the wall. Once I've locked my knees in place, the only direction that my hips are moving is back behind me. You can also do this with a barbell to warm up for your deadlift, prime that position and have some tactile feedback to know where your body is in space. So we're taking the drill Patrick just showed you just a one step further with a little bit of resistance. Notice my shins are staying vertical. As I push my hips back, I feel my hamstring stretch. I squeeze my glutes to get out of this. 